Hey YouTube, it's Tom, F4 Collector. I've been making these how-to videos on drawing monster trucks. This video will be Hot James. In advance, I apologize for the sound quality. There's a fan running in the background, but I do hope you enjoy this video. Beginning of uh, one of the monster trucks, Tommy wants me to make for him. He said, Cotton Daddy, make me a unique truck. Call it Hot James. So. This is the basic outline I just did. Here I added the name Hot James. A little fire flying for fire effect. Just want to add a little more details and go from there. Okay, I'm back. Added some pipes with some fire flames, which I know Tommy will love. Added a flak. With the little fire flames, not literal fire flames, but that's part of the flag. This is number seven. Added some uh, shocks. And now we we'll have to pick the color scheme and get it colored. Okay, just finished up painting the blue part. I did use Crayola. Let's see, color blue. The wrapper looks purple, but the color is blue. Using, uh, besides blue, rose art, dandelion yellow. Sort of laid the first layer of the yellow down. Then I'll add a little orange. And of course, the red highlights where the fires keep going out. Just had to go ahead and highlight the yellow. Make that, uh, um, yellow. The, Logo 7, color that in as well. I decided to leave the words hot James white. So I'm hoping once I get all completed and colored, it'll stand out really nice. Here's the next step. I did or add the orange color. Let's see the orange. Or the vivid tangerine. Different areas, sort of want, like sporadic, like shh, shh. Do the flames as well as the flag. Use the color brown for the flagpole. That's the next step. I'm going to use the color gray for the pipes. I'm going to use blue for the springs or shocks. Blue around the hoods, thin the hood where the light nuts are. I just went hand colored in yellow for dandelion color. Okay, for Tommy's jersey, I, I had to use a pen um, to get a little fine line. Uh, so I went ahead and did the fire flames here, there. First made his arms like into fire, the design of his jersey. First the seats brown. I had the blues, I used, for the contrast, I didn't want to use the regular blue color for this, so I went ahead and used this color, Cadet Blue, it's a little softer light blue color, I don't know if you can tell in the camera here, but it's really pretty, worked out really nice, so I went ahead and did a highlight to the flames with a little red, uh, it's still kind of Totally red or totally yellow. One hit did a little mixture, so it looks like fire up there. Uh, of course, the headlights are um, yellow, taillights red, color the bumpers. Um, did a little red highlight on the flag. I didn't mean to make it look like it was on fire, but the Tommy thinks that it, oh, daddy, the flag's on fire. I don't mind, thank God, that's okay. And I forgot to color the grill. Let's go ahead and color this gray. Light gray, it's not going to be very pronounced. But that looks good. So, all I gotta do is color the tires. And then I'm going to go around the truck with a, a fine point Sharpie. Make it more pronounced or stick out. I might highlight the fire flames again. 
in the name. Give me a few minutes, I'll be back. Okay, here's the final product. One hand completed everything, the tires. Did a little touch up on the frames. I had a little red and it seemed like it worked out pretty good. Final look of it. I don't know. I think on my other videos I talked about this, but sometimes I add like a little mark here. It sort of represents like trim marks. You don't have to have it, but sometimes it looks good. There you go. Until the next video, you guys take care.